I see lots of people writing functions like this and I don't understand why they have to be so complicated and long winded. Let's have a look at an example. So we have this function called isEven that returns back a bool and takes in an int number. And all this is really doing, like it says, is checking if the number is even. And it does this by taking the number and doing a modulus 2 and making sure the output is 0. So just to give you a quick rundown, if you have 11 modulus 2, the answer is going to be 1. Because 10 is divisible by 2 and then there's one remainder after. And if it's going to be an even number like 10 modulus 2, 10 gets divisible by 2 evenly, which is 5. And then the output is going to be 0 because this is the remainder or modulus symbol. So we want to find out what's left over if you try and divide them. So now that we've understood that, this condition returns back true or false on its own. So we're basically saying if this is true, return back true. And if this is false, then we can return back false. Or we can simply just take return, take this condition and place it straight into here. And it would do exactly the same output as this section below. And it's simply just in one line. And if you wanted to take this a little bit of a step further, we could actually make this into a one line function. So in order to do that, you take the function declaration, you put an equals followed by a greater than sign to create what we call an arrow. And you can simply just take this one line. And now if we comment out this entire section, put a semicolon at the end, and there's your one line function straight away. Because you're using the arrow function, it only allows you with one simple line, which is going to be this one. So therefore you don't need the return keyword inside here. So if we run the code now and see what happens, then you can see we still have 10 is true and nine is false. So that matches exactly the output we expect because 10 is even and nine is odd. So that's it for this video. I just wanted to give you a C-sharp tip that can help improve the efficiency of your code and readability going forward. I have an updated C-sharp 2024 Udemy course linked down below if you're interested. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.